Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about why you. Like, why would I pick you? What makes you special, man? So if you're in business, window cleaning or other, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com. You are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy everything. It's like five plus years. You got tons of content. Go back, follow anywhere podcasts are found. And of course, also on YouTube. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And shameless plug of the day, I want to be your rep. That's literally what I do. So many of you have let me put your orders in. It's absolutely rad. Um, I want to put all your orders in. It's as simple as shooting me a text and saying, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Or... Jersey, order me this, this, and this. My number directs 862-312-2026. Yes, that's my cell phone. Yes, you can save that. Yes, put it under Jersey. I'm the only Jersey you know. Let me put all your orders in big or small. I really genuinely would appreciate it if you did. Um, Also, if you haven't yet, get yourself an American Window Cleaner Magazine subscription. Go to awcmag.com and get a subscription. Get it. All the stickers you see, that's from the magazine. Comes to your door every single month because we're nerds in window cleaning and we want to have the stuff. So get something to read on the turlet and uh, get the subscription sent to you. It's awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get that. Do it. It's awesome. Uh, A couple side notes too. Uh, Shameless plugs aside. Uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, this is not my channel. It's WCR's channel, but you can check me out, WCR Nation. Uh, Jersey WCR Nation, I believe it is. Uh, starting to do a bunch of cool videos. New video comes out every week on that channel, so subscribe. It'd be amazing. TikTok and all that other stuff, too. But today we are talking about why you. Like, why would I pick you in window cleaning? As you know, and as most people will tell you, like every area has a ton of people. Very seldom do you find an area that there's just no window cleaners, unless you're in like a really, really little town. There's always window cleaners. We're kind of a dime a dozen as far as like startup. Startup cost is like 100 bucks, 200 bucks. You could be a window cleaner, right? So the low cost of entry ends up meaning that uh, we have a lot of competition sometimes. Now, I've told you guys a thousand times, and I still true believer that there is no competition for you, right? If you're you, there's only one you. That sounds super weird. Either that's super insightful or it's uh, super clumsy. But either way, you know what I'm saying. I uh, knew a guy, Michael Geller, you've heard the story maybe, but um, he was a magician. And he was talking to this other guy about pricing and everything else. And he goes, it doesn't matter. He goes, what are you talking about? He goes, if you're Michael Geller, there's only one of you. There's you. And if somebody wants you, they get you. It doesn't come down to price when there's only one of you. right? The most ultra rare things in all of the world are very expensive. Because it's ultra rare. Nobody wants the mickey mantle card you know the uh what is it Uh, class 10 mickey mantle card nobody wants that not class what is it rating whatever nobody wants that but then goes oh man it's gonna be like a million dollars um no pass i have a raspy throat today i'm sorry but nobody says that because they want it it's theirs if that's their market like you and I, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying a baseball card for a million dollars. It's not my market. It's not my thing, right? But you can charge that million and someone will pay it. It's the same thing with what we do. We're a luxury service. No one needs window cleaning. No one dies if they don't have window cleaning. Even the little old lady who you're helping out, if she does not get her windows cleaned, it does not mean anything changes. Other than she can't watch the birds at the bird feeder. Which sucks. But you have to understand what we are. But as much as you have to understand what we are, you have to understand what you are. Like, who are you? Right? 
There's so many. I would guess to throw a stupid percentage number, rip it right out of my rear end, I would say 99% of you, 99% don't know who they are. You have no idea who you are, what your service is, why somebody would buy you, what's your USP, none of that. And it's shocking. It's shocking because that's when you see, oh, so-and-so stole a job from me because they were cheaper. Then they lower the price. Now all of a sudden they think that they're cheaper. Then all of a sudden your USP is, we're the cheapest. That's not a USP I would ever want. Unique selling point, USP. That's not who I want to be known as, is the cheapest. Right? You're a service. You're a luxury service. You're selling the experience. So what happens is, is if you don't know who you are, how is anybody else going to know who you are? right? Who are you? And uh, this is nerdy, but you're probably all by yourself. If not, look around. Maybe no one's looking at you. I'm going to ask you in your head right now to think of a 10 second pitch on who you are. Go ahead. Think of it. Say it. Think it. Do it. As you're thinking that, Look at that and now say, is there anybody else out there who's like that? It's amazing when you find out, when you talk to people, and I talk to a lot of people, obviously, a thousand people a week, maybe not, let's see, probably 500 people a week, ballpark, 250 to 500, we'll say, (laughs) right? There's days I'll talk to 100 people. And when you ask them and talk to them, and I'll say, well, how are you selling yourself? You know, what do you do do and what do you do? Oh, man, well, it's me. People hire me because I'm so nice. Or my favorite line ever. If you do good work, they just, you know, people come. So that's the biggest line of crap ever. If if I just do really good work, people just, it just happens. Nothing happens. In business. Like if you do good work, does that mean people have repeat? Yeah. Sure. But if you give them a good experience, does that mean repeat? Yeah. Way more. They tell more people about it. There's something that is forgotten in in business, especially in our industry. Because a lot of us are techs. A lot of us like to clean glass, right? A lot of us did not own a Fortune 500 company, and we're now just getting into another business. So business side of things is a little bit tricky. That's why I do podcasting like this, right? By the way, I say the word right a lot, and somebody uh, actually wrote in a review. I think they gave me a four-star review on like iTunes, which sucks. By the way, if you're going to review me, give me a five at least. Uh, but uh, it was because I said, right? A lot. Anyway, I'm just talking to a camera. I'm pretending you're here. But we haven't run businesses in the past. So what we're doing is we're trying to figure that all out while doing everything else. We realize there's a thousand things we have to do. Right? Lots of hats we wear. So we don't know everything when it comes to business. But... On that same side of it, you may know window cleaning really, really well, right? You may know that side of it. You may know what you're doing, but you don't know what differentiates you from somebody else. And you also maybe aren't tracking how and why people call you or tell people about you or whatnot. If you clean a really good window, guess what? The other companies they've never used also cleans a good window. The clean window doesn't much matter. Just because you clean a window really well and you do great work, does not mean you're going to get new business. It does not even mean that those people that you did are going to come back. Just doing a good job is mediocre. I will fight and die on this hill that you can do less than a good job or less than a great job. You can't do crap work, by the way. Whenever I say this, people go, yeah, you you dirty windows. No, of course not. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you're worried about 
Oh, the glass is perfect. When you could be worried about 90, 95%, meaning it's really, really good. And if you really look close, maybe there's something. Maybe there's just a bug butt that didn't come off or something weird. You're focused so much on that window cleaning because you think that that's doing something for you and it's not. The experience is what's doing something for you. Every time I have this conversation, I go, why do people hire you? Well, it's because it's because of me. People love me. I can't have employees. My employees are different or my, uh, my customers are different. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't work here, they wouldn't. I, yes, then you've done something wrong. Are you great and awesome? Yeah, you probably are amazing. But could you also have a tech that's amazing? Could you also have them build a relationship with somebody else? You sure could. You sure could. Your USP is not you. Who are you, the company? People go, well, it's me. I'm the reason that everybody comes to me. I'm the... You're probably a a good part of it, but that's not why. You were the reason that the experience happened. But anybody could give that part of it. Who are you? You have to know this to sell that. If I ask you right now, who are you? Whatever you just said or thought, that's your selling point. You have to know who you are in in order to sell you. And you have to have a USP. I've talked about this a thousand times and it's still mind blow. It's it's mind boggling. And I, I haven't really talked about it as much lately because it's almost sad how many people don't know their USP. And I, I, I want to know if you're watching this on YouTube, which I hope you are, or if you're listening to this podcast, which, you know, a hundred times more people listen to than watch it on YouTube. But go to YouTube, search this episode, take a second and tell me your USP. Just put my USP and tell me in the comments. I want to know your USP. Now, most of you aren't going to do that. Almost all of you won't do that. I get it. I get it. But I hope that at least the thought of you doing that will allow you to understand that you don't have a USP or that your USP sucks. It doesn't mean you suck. It doesn't mean your company sucks. It just means that that part of your company is lacking. Let's fix it. Your USP stands for unique selling point. Why are you unique? I go in your area. I pick up 10 window cleaners. I line them all up against the wall. Great. I have this house that I'm willing to pay $1,000 for window cleaning. It is 20 windows. I'll give you 1000 bucks. Seems obsessive. A little bit excessive. Why would I pick you? I go to the first guy. What does he tell me why? I go to the second guy. How many things the first guy said does the second guy say? Now I go to the third guy. How many things does the third guy say of why I should pick him that everybody else has said? And I go down and down and down on the road. Now, nine window cleaners have told me why I choose them. Most of their answer is the exact same. They're all jockeying for words like the best. But now I get to you. What is your unique selling point? Really think about this. What makes you unique? Unique, the word, means no one else has it. If I go, well, I'm really nice. And um, we show up on time. Yep. And um, uh, we've been in business for uh, five years. And, um, you know, we're fully insured. uh, And uh, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And... uh, Those are all really, really good things. And that's really good reasons why I may hire you. But if nine other people said the exact same thing, everybody's guaranteed to be satisfied. If you're not going to like the work, they're going to do something to make it right. Everybody's insured. Not everybody, obviously. Most people are insured. How is that selling? Of course you're insured. I assume you're insured because you're not a a dingbat. (laughs) It's very hard not to swear sometimes. (laughs) But I, of course you're insured. Of course you're insured. Of course you do good work. Of course you're nice. No one's going to say, well, I'm an a-hole. Uh, my staff smokes on the site and uh, we'll probably get mud on your carpet. Nobody says that. Of course. It's a job interview. They're going to say all the great things. 
if they say all the great things, but you say the same things, none of those are unique. If I say I make the windows look perfect, of course you do. That's a, that's unwritten. No one can sell on that. Everybody does. If everybody does the same thing, none of them are unique. Think about this. Gas stations. There's different gas stations. Every gas station in the world, every brand of gas makes your car drive. There's not one gas station in the entire world that on their ad goes, hey, come to mobile because we make your car move. Engines can burn our fuel. No. <laughs> no, because everybody has it. Why would they advertise that? We go, okay, that's, I don't need to know that because everybody else does that. That's like you going, well, choose us because we wear shirts. Or, or you know, something along those lines. You can't sell if it's not unique. I want to know what's unique about you. Why do I choose you? What are you bringing to the table that others aren't? So many people are worried about the competition. And I get I get big guys coming in. I get the new guys. I get you seeing them getting to work. And you're like, oh, man, what are they doing I'm not doing? But then you're so focused on trying to sell the exact same thing they are that you forget about yourself. Don't look at them. Look at your windshield. Your windshield's big. Look at your rear view mirror. It's very small. Don't lose sight of what's behind you, your competition, the other guy. But look forward. Spend all your time looking forward. But tell me why I choose you. Because if you know who you are, you know what makes you unique, now you know what you sell. You know your value. When you see competition, other guys, Facebook, new guys, all that stuff, guess what? Guess what happens before anybody knows who they are and why they're selling what they're selling and their experience, their USP, all that? Guess what? Those are the $99 guys. Those are the guys that only know price. If I took all 10 of those guys together, when I asked what makes you unique and I said you cannot say the word price or talk about money at all, that changes the whole game. Because guess what? If I don't and no one has real unique points, the only thing they focus on is the dollar. You ask 10 people and the first guy goes, well, uh, you know, we're known as the cheapest in town. Well, guess what? That may be their unique selling point. But that's not a selling point. You're the cheapest in town because you don't offer anything. I've never been the cheapest in town. Okay, if somebody is only and you know they're they're not able to see your value and they're only searching on the money, you're not going to get them. That's fine, because guess what? Billy Bob over there, that is the uh, cheapest in town. The newest next guy is going to be cheaper than him and he loses all his customers because he's now not the cheapest. His unique selling point and the only reason somebody went to him is because he was the cheapest. He's now not the cheapest. Not only can you not run a business being the cheapest, not doing it right. I'm not going to work for, you know, uh, $2 an hour profits. I can't buy insurance with that. I can't do the things I need to do. I can't get equipment. I can't upgrade. I can't get nice trucks or wraps or good technology. I can't create a great experience if I don't have the capital to do that. If you're selling only on price and that's your unique selling point, somebody will come in and be that. Now you're nobody. If your unique selling point is one thing and somebody else comes in to do that, now you're not unique. Know your value. Value and price are very, very, very different things. Price is easy. It's 100 bucks for this thing. Next it comes in. It's 100 bucks for this thing. Guess what? Boom. It's off the table. I'm in the supply game. You guys know that. Most of our stuff we try to, because of our bulk that we can buy, our buying power, is a lot of our stuff is cheapest. Not all of it. Some of you out there can be uh, only focused on the dollar. I totally get that. But if you sell a bunch of products, we sell it, the next guy sells it, the next guy sells it, we're all at the same price, you will buy from us. You'll buy from me. Because I bring more value. 
Maybe you've learned something from me. Maybe I've helped you. Uh, by the way, high five if your business is doing awesome. And I even, you know, contributed a little bit of uh, 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 help or just a little something to, to, to help your, your brain do something different or your company. That would be amazing. That's why I do this. If I do this and create good, that's my value. I've done this show for five years. 200 and I forget what number we're on. We're like 250 episodes. 30-minute episodes for five years. You can go and see all the changes and watch me age. I used to be young, <laughs> supple, and, and, and energetic. Now I'm drinking coffee. Right? I do that because that's my value. If price is off the table, my value is what I bring to the table. Right? If you are ballpark price, everybody's in the same price, say price is out of it. So you're all the same, that means it's it's eliminated. What's your value? What is your value? Not your price, what's your value? I feel like people buying through me or having me as the rep or asking questions, which is amazing. And I do bids, uh, I help with uh, pricing and everything else. That's my value. I wanna give you so much value that when it comes time to buy, you're gonna buy from me. That's obviously what I do, how I do what I do. If you've never bought anything from me, that's cool. You can do your thing and I hope you still get value from that. But I didn't make any money because you didn't ever buy from me. If you don't have an AWC uh, subscription or you don't click any of the links down below and you've not done, um, you know, you've gone to, I think, responsive bids in the, cl- in the links and uh, also nice job is the new one for reviews, by the way. But if you've not done any of those, and I've not made any money from you, you can still get all the value you want from me, but I've not made anything from that. So I only make something if you eventually buy from me or whatever. No, that's not why I do what I do, obviously. I've got millions of of downloads, and I'm not talking to millions of people. Not yet, at least. (laughs) No, you know what I'm saying, though, right? But my value is known. I know there's no other window cleaner out there doing podcasts every single week. I know there's no other window cleaner out there doing the content, the um, the marking, the, the this, the that, right? If you're getting any type of benefit, that's the value. You have the same thing with your company. There's more than just price. There's more than just clean windows. What are you doing? Well, guess what? When we show up to your property... We bring you fresh baked cookies, right? We, um, you know, send you, uh, you know, uh, a thank you card afterwards. Or we wear booties instead of taking our shoes off. I know this sounds like real ridiculous things, but these are all the things that when you look at the reviews people leave, read the reviews. They tell you the things that they were blown away from. Nobody goes, well, they cleaned the bust window. Man, oh, man. There was no more bird poop on my window. Hooray. They don't say that because anybody would do that. That's not what blew them away. Oh, he cleans the best. Nobody cares about that. The experience is what they care about. Why do they love you? How nice were the techs, right? All these guys were so great to work with. They were so friendly, super fast, super prompt great thing. Read your reviews. It'll tell you your value. It'll tell you what people see. You have to know what you sell. If you have a USP and you know who you are, you know your value. You know all of that. Now you know what you sell. We don't sell clean windows. I don't sell clean windows. If I'm cleaning your windows, I'm selling. You're getting... You don't have to do it. There's your pain point. Right? I'm giving you back your free time. I'm letting the light in your house. The whole house looks cleaner, brighter, fresher. You have company over. Now your mother-in-law doesn't look at your windows and think that you're a bad wife. Or husband or whatever. Right? I'm selling more than clean windows. In the process, I'm selling the experience. My value is... You're going to have an amazing experience from start to finish. 
We're going to be so responsive and blow you away. You're going to think you're our only customer. I'm giving you the time. I'm doing all of this. All of these things that make me unique or what makes you unique is the reason that somebody hires you, rehires you, and more importantly, tells 30 of their friends. Who hasn't had like the coolest experience? Right? There's one thing that I have to say. It was I did buy a car. I bought a Jeep uh, Gladiator. You guys maybe have seen a picture of it or something. But that vehicle, the purchase experience of it was absolutely amazing. It was awesome. It was super, super low key. The lady was super calm and chill and no pressure. And it was just awesome to work with. She goes, hey, let me, uh, the place is closed now, but I'm going to get you a price on your trade. Um, we have to do, I think it was a lease buyout, so we have to do leasing stuff or whatever. I'll call you first thing in the morning, and uh, we'll go from there. She, What's, what time is best to call? I said, I usually get into work around 10 a.m. She goes, cool. 10 a.m. I get a phone call. 10 a.m. Hey, yeah. Good news. Uh, we're going to be able to uh, pay off your lease, plus we're going to give you about uh, $7,000 on top of your lease or whatever the price was and uh, get you into that vehicle, uh, all that, blah, blah, blah. Changes your payments, your purchase. Here you go. This is what it would be. I'd love to get you back in. Sit in the thing. See if it's really a right fit. Wow. This is great. Well, guess what? That experience, anybody can sell a car, right? If that same car was on the same lot in the same different places, it's the experience that sells it. I've told 20 people about this place. I've told 20 people about it. I've had garbage uh, service <laughs> when I go there. Their service department sucks. And I've told 20 people about how garbage the service is. But the experience of buying a car sucks and they made it good. That's what you're doing. If you have a plumber show up to your house and you go, hey, my kitchen sink isn't draining, there's a problem. The plumber goes, okay. You never hear from them again. Two hours later, they're all done. Wipe it up their hands. All right. So it was a little clog, so we uh, ran a snake through there, cleaned everything out, uh, ran this and this and this, and uh, yeah, you should be good. Great. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Have a great day. And they leave. That was a great experience. Good, right? Who were they? What was that company's name? What was the tech's name? Next time you have a plumbing issue, you're going to call them? Maybe. You're not going to go out of your way to try to find them. The experience wasn't that great. You're not going to even tell anybody a plumber was at your house. Right? But if the guy shows you what he's doing, talks you through things, gives you options, shows you what's going on, explains how things go, they know who you are, they've talked, you've, you've respected your house, you've respected your time, you have absolutely everything, and the experience was over the top, you're going to go out of your way to use that same plumber again. And you're going to talk to people about it. Man, you know what? By the way, I had a plumber the other day. That's great. I used uh, XYZ plumbing, man. That guy was so cool. He showed me like everything, man. I looked at the pipes. The pipes were gross. Man. He really showed me everything. I think we're going to do a whole house thing. I'm going to do this or that. Like he really brought up some good points. about. Now you're talking plumbing. No one cares about plumbing. Before when the guy just did enough, it didn't matter. He may have cleaned the plumbing so well, so gr- No one cares. As long as it's flowing, that was the point. As long as your windows are clean, that's the point. Clean is clean. Know who you are. Because here's the thing and the big thing to take away from this episode. If you know who you are, your value, what makes you unique, why somebody would choose you, you know all of that. Now are you convinced? If you see a little kid running towards a highway, you will do everything in your power to stop that kid from running into the road. You will push people over, little old lady. In a walker, you would knock her over to save this kid. You would knock all their kids over who were playing to save this kid because you were absolutely convinced it is the best and only choice you have. If you're absolutely convinced that you are the best company, the best choice, the best anything, if you're convinced, it's really easy to convince everybody else. I know windowcleaner.com is the greatest place to buy your supplies. I know I am the greatest rep. No offense to Steve-O. I know everybody loves Steve-O and Austin and all those other guys. But I know for a fact 
that I am awesome. I know that I can provide service. I know that I can provide you knowledge. I know that I can help you. I know that I can help you with bids. I know all of that stuff. It's very easy for me to tell you, you should use me as your rep. I know American Window Cleaner Magazine is the best magazine in the world for anything window cleaning. Pictures, articles, stickers are amazing. Everything is absolutely amazing. I know that. So when somebody calls me and says, hey, you think I should get American Window Cleaning Magazine? Absolutely. Because I know that that magazine or using me as your rep or getting into Waterfed or whatever those things are that I'm absolutely convinced with, I can absolutely 100% in my heart tell you those are the right things. And if I can be convinced, I can think convince you. Or I can at least tell you. If you're not convinced of what you do or why you're the best choice, why would I hire you? Well, you know, uh, I just I hope I get a chance. If you hope anything, you're just you're leaving it out there. If you hope somebody hires you, you're not. You, you should be, and again, be friends with your competition, but you should know that you're the best choice. You know you bring the best value. You have the best experience, the best staff. If not, fix it. But if you know all that and somebody says, well, I'm using XYZ, you go, don't talk bad about them. But if it's between you and XYZ and they should I use you or XYZ, absolutely you should use us. We are the best. This is why. If I'm convinced, I can convince you. If you're not convinced, you're trying to convince yourself. So know who you are. Know your USP. Go and comment on the YouTube. Tell me why. Follow all of my stuff, by the way. There's a couple pretty dope edits. If you want to see the warehouse and things, go to my YouTube channel too. My YouTube channel, search like Jersey WCR Nation. I believe it's in there. I'm going to change some meta tags on there so you can find it just searching WCR Nation. But anyway, go there. Do that. Follow that things. Get your subscription. All of that stuff. You know I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. And like I said, I'm convinced that I should be your rep. I hope you are convinced also. It's as easy as pushing the go button for you than to shoot me a text, my cart's ready. And I get credit for it. And it costs you nothing extra. I know that is an awesome thing. So hopefully you do too. Hopefully you buy from me. Shameless plug done. But anyway, go do all that stuff. But uh, most importantly, before next week, know who you are. Tell me who you are. But more importantly, be epic. <laughs>